Okay, let's all turn to page 33 in your Big Ideas math book. At the top you should say, see lesson 2.1, Estimate, Sums, and Differences. We're going to estimate to find each sum by rounding to the nearest thousand, hundred, or ten and explain why we chose to round to that place value. A football team had 917 spectators at their first game and 872 at their second game. About how many spectators did the team have at both games? We see the word both in here so we know we need to add these two numbers. But above here it says we're allowed to estimate. So that means we don't have to be specific. We can round. What place value do we think we need to round to? Ones, tens, or hundreds? So if I'm estimating, I'm going to round to the hundreds. 917 is going to be closer to 900 because if I look at my 9, I look one place to the right, which is a 1, so I can keep my 9 the same. But the 872, we're actually going to round up because if I'm rounding to hundreds here, I look one place to the right, it's a 7, so it's 5 or greater, so I have to go up with it. So 900 plus 900 is 1800 or 1800. The next question, the next problem says, a company's budget is 1800 for a company picnic. They spend $917 on the location and 872 on food. Did they stay within their budget? So we have the same numbers, 917 and 872, just like we had in the problem before but we're looking to see if they're staying in their budget. Because of this, we're going to look at specific numbers instead of estimating. Seven plus two is nine. One plus seven is eight and 9 plus 8 is 17. So they spent 1,789. Did they stay in their budget of 1,800? Yes, they did. Because 1,789 is less than 1,800. Let's turn over to the next page. Okay, looking at the top of page 34, it says an estimate is a number that is close to an, an exact number. You can use rounding to estimate sums and differences. One way is to round each add end to the nearest hundred and then find the sum. So on the left side, we're gonna round these to the nearest hundred to find the sum. We know our six and our two are in our hundreds place. 8,675 would round up to 8,700. 3,214 would round to 3,200. Because our one is less than five, we keep the two the same. We're going to add those together. So 8,675 plus 3,214 is about 
11,900. Another way to round is to round to the nearest thousands place and then find the sum. So when we look at 8,675 to the nearest thousands, that rounds to 9,000. 3,214 rounds to 3,000. Nine plus three is 12, so we have 12,000. So 8,675 plus 3,214 is about, and it says about because we estimate about 12,000. Now if you're looking, these are both the same words, but we rounded here to the hundreds place, and over here we rounded to the thousands place. If you round the 11,900 to the thousands place, you're gonna get 12,000. Let's look at the next example. Estimate 827,615 minus 54,306. One way is to round to the nearest thousands place and then find the difference. So we're looking at our seven and our four. I know I keep the eight and two the same because they're to the left of the thousands place, but here I've got to look to the right. Six is greater than five, so I need to round that seven up to an eight and hold my place values. We're going to do the same thing with 54,000, rounding to the four because three is less than five. And now I'm subtracting this time. Right here, five can't be taken away from two, so we have to borrow. Now 12 minus five is seven. We're gonna bring that other seven down. So 8,002, I'm sorry, 800,027. 827,615 minus 54,306 is about 774,000. Notice it says about because we estimate and that is not exact. On the, on the other way, we're going to round each number to the nearest 10,000. Teachers and students, please pardon this. Had to pause the video for a short bit. We had a fire alarm test, um, but we're back and we are gonna round to the nearest 10,000. So we're looking at 827,615 rounded to the 10,000's place is going to be 830,000. Rounding 54,306 to the nearest 10,000's place puts us at 50,000. We're subtracting those. We can't take five away from a three, so we have to borrow. 13 minus five is eight, and we gotta bring that seven down. So we have about 780,000 when we round to the nearest 10,000s and 774,000 when we round to the nearest thousands. Notice how close those numbers are. You can pause the video here and take time to estimate the sum or difference on problems one through 12 and you can unpause the video and check your answers.
Remember when you get to problems like 11 and 12, when they are written out like this, make sure to align those numbers. Okay, I want you guys to continue working page 35, the last couple of problems, 36, 37, and the all the way to the end of 38, and I will see you guys tomorrow.